Hello and welcome to this special cryptocurrency technical analysis that I have planned for you today where I know you're on the edge of your seat in excitement with the information looking forward that I'm about to present to you in this video. I will of course be going over exactly what you need and want to know right now. The next important levels, my current trades and how we got up to this section of price action in the first place. I'll be giving you exactly what I'm looking for over the rest of this week to come. Of course we're sat midweek at the moment so I'm going to be looking towards Towards the end of the week and the price action that I specifically am looking for and the levels that I believe are going to be coming into play and dictating this market. Okay, so I hope that you're looking forward to that. I truly believe you're going to learn a lot from this video. I want to cover Bitcoin, of course, <laughs> my baby. I want to cover the stock market, touch on that. And if we have time, I'll touch on the DXY, the Forex market and, and the altcoins because altcoins right now are also providing a lot of opportunity. So I want to touch on this and uh, main focus being Bitcoin. So that's what we're going to start off with and, and end with what I'm looking at next. Um, also, I want to touch briefly on a few little tips and tricks that I can give you for trading this market right now. It's going to be a good one. And with no further said, let's just go straight into it, right? Okay, this is what you're here for, the analysis. So I'm going to pick up where I left off my last video, which was where I was talking about why I was expecting a Bitcoin rise to come. OK, in this video, I made it very clear my bias was bullish and I was expecting a rise to come. Of course, I made that very clear within YouTube and previous before this. Of course, all my information is given first inside the group but before this video was made of, of course, I showed you some of the posts with inside my group of why I was expecting higher, why I wanted to see higher, and why I wanted to see another push to the upside. Of course, we can now see on the chart that we did get that. There's a few things that I'd like to refer to just to help your understanding. Of course, uh, one day prior to this, of course, in this video, my last video, I was explaining why I was in longs and looking for higher. One video prior to that, I was in a short trade, right? And that was because we had this swing failure pattern here, and this was the swing failure pattern, and this for me was a short entry. Okay, and I explained that the next day for YouTube while we were down here. You have to remember my entry was taken up here, and if you were in the group, you would have known my entry was here, right? When I talked about it the next day, I explained I'm in a short now, and you know, prices obviously, of course, moved down already 5%. So what there was a few comments of Daniel, um, you know, you've made this video saying that you're long and you're bullish and you're expecting higher, but yesterday you were in a short trade. How can this be? And I understand if you are unknowledgeable or uneducated about trading, that can be fairly difficult to understand and I comprehend that. Thus, I'm going to spend one minute to really educate you. You have to remember this short trade that was taken was off of a swing failure pattern of the prior high. Okay, My entry is up here. Price come down over 5%. OK, from here, we spend a little bit of time ranging and in the end, reclaim resistance into support and start to edge up here. I made a YouTube video the next day explaining why I'm now looking for higher. I'm long. I am back only bullish and I am definitely expecting higher prices to come. What you have to remember is even if I had taken zero profits on this short, OK, I'd switch my bullish back bullish bias back here and was looking for this rise to the upside. Of course, though, I did actually take take profit one on this low, got stopped on the rest of that trade. It was fine because I was ready and wanting to see this next rise to the upside. So one thing that I want you to comprehend is I can be, for example, bullish today and bearish tomorrow. I trade the charts and the highest probability. I'm not stuck to a bias. If I say, for example, in a video 24 hours ago, I'm bullish on Bitcoin and then Bitcoin rises, you know, 10% to the upside, hits a resistance, gets a rejection. And then I come on the next day and say, well, I'm in a short position. And then people are confused saying, Daniel, you were, you know, you were X, Y, and Z yesterday. Now your bias has changed. How is this? And it's really simply, if I get new data on the charts, I will trade the charts and that new information and data that's given to me. That's one thing a very skilled trader can do. They can come in here, review new data and trade that thing, you know, that new data that's being given to them. A bad trader will be stuck in his way, stuck in his bias, unable to switch out of that bias and miss out on trades. For example, if I had taken that short and was bearish while we were here and saying, oh, I'm short in this next rise. I'm going to, you know, I'm bearish. I'm going to take another short position. I'm just going to compound my short. Well, I would have been ignoring the information that I had seen here, which was giving me a reason to expect higher. Instead, I read the charts. And as we can now say very successfully, 
I changed my bias, I went bullish, I wanted to see higher, and well, we got a, after this video, had another 10% plus rise to the upside. Okay, so I just wanted to spend a few minutes there explaining that because it's very important that some days, you know, if I get new information, I am going to trade the charts. And I've always, I will say this, if you want to know that information in real time before having to wait, you know, one, two, three days for a YouTube video, then that's, of course, what I give first to my champions group, right? And on the 20th, I did make it clear to my team, uh, this was in the night before I went to bed, you know, going to call it a night soon. We'll be sleeping in zero short positions once again. I want to see higher and the level above us is the monthly. That's where I want to see, okay? Well, you know, that's around $23,300. So I wanted to see a continued push to the upside. I wanted to see this monthly hit. I actually drew a magic line inside my group, which was hitting the monthly and a, and a pullback. Uh, so I had the magic line given. I had the clear indication of no short trades yet. And I want to see higher. I want to see this monthly tapped. That for me is my target. Well, around 7 a.m. the next day, Woke up a very happy man, right? As uh, still in zero short trades, still want to see higher. This is before we had tapped the monthly. We slightly front run it, but I remained patient for the tap, okay? And in the end, we come on and we did tap that monthly, which then did give us a short trade, which I took that short trade, okay? And, you know, then obviously we had a champions live stream. And for me, I was explaining why I took that short trade and what I'm looking for next. Okay, so I'm in a short trade right now. And there's, of course, I'm going to be explaining this during the course of the video. But this was our initial reasons, okay? So we came up to, I've kind of labeled this one, two, and three, what I want to speak about here. We come up here to the monthly, and we had then this really nice swing failure pattern. So remember I was talking about how I took this short trade off of a swing failure pattern? Well, very, very, very similar indeed. Here, we had the high retracement swing failure pattern. So here we had a swing failure pattern in our monthly resistance zone, a very nice resistance. We've done a swing failure pattern, and then we also done a really nice CC retest here. So from high to low Fibonacci into the CC. From here, we had a fairly large move to the downside, okay? After this move to the downside, we had then, for myself, the next level above us, which was this NPOC, point number two that I want to talk about. just want to show you and educate you how I called this inside of the group. Again, why am I showing you this information of what's already passed? So you can see how I was thinking live in the time before this move had happened. And thus, you can take this, you know, this reading of the market that I gave before the move. So you can kind of get into my thought process, understand this, and then thus use this going forwards, right? So here into my team, we had recognized on the ES, lovely move to the upside. By the way, this was support, which I gave my team like, you know, uh, one week before this. This was a really nice level. But anyway, regardless, we have this daily level of resistance above us. So you can see here, there's no hindsight. There's no might be, not be. It's here we go. We're moving up on the ES, our next level to the upside. So I want to show you the posting time so you can see everything. Here you can see 23rd of January, 1541. You know, the image is taken 23rd of January, 1541. So there's no delays on this. It's take the picture, get it in the Discord, give my analysis. And the next level here is 40,000 at 40,000, I wish, 4,054 on the ES stop market. So my next level of resistance is above us at 4,054 on the stop market. Okay. At the same time, I had this daily NPOC marked out on Bitcoin, which was coming in at 23,175. What we had was this perfect confluence where ES moved up and touched that daily. At the exact same time, Bitcoin moved up and touched that 23,175 resistance. Okay. Again, there's no delays in this. I'm giving the update as soon as it happens. Here, we can see the absolute pinpoint accuracy of this. With the daily being touched on the ES stock market, well, simultaneously, we're getting this touch of the NPOC and rejection from Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has tapped, tapped our resistance and rejected. The ES has tapped our resistance and rejected. For me, this was a acceptable short trade on Bitcoin. As I previously told my team a few hours before this, the reasoning of why this NPOC was a valid level to trade. I gave that opinion. I then confirmed that this was a short trade. I had hit no take profits yet. I was still waiting for lower. And then we got, you know, a little bit lower 
actually kind of funny minutes after this, all right? That's where I hit the take profit one on that. And the real perfectness was this, was 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 that um, confluence with the ES. The way that they hit both these levels, both those resistances at the same time, it was just, you know, made picture perfect scenario, okay? And then that gave us the high with our swing failure pattern, pullback. Move into the NPOC, okay? While we're moving to the NPOC, the ES had its real perfect touch of the daily. We can see how this has now moved down very greatly to around the point of control zone. But that, you can just see here how lovely that was, that daily level being the absolute high of that move and how on Bitcoin that gave us the exact same time touch of the NPOC there. It's pretty pretty nice, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, from here I had a few targets to the downside, specifically a uh, gap fill on the CME. So the CME gap has now been filled. It was a, also a nice take profit opportunity, right? And that for me was the take profit, by the way, the CME gap fill, which is now filled. So hopefully you've understood how I have got you this far in the chart. And now we're going to move on to what I'm looking at next. I'm sure that's something you greatly want to know about, right? So I'm just going to bring back this daily level that I had. I'm going to remove this. Obviously, this short was taken and already hit take profit one. And this swing fire pattern of the monthly, I'm also going to remove to give us the most valid levels that we now have on the chart. Okay, the one thing that I'd also like to give you a tip on, and I hope you can understand this, and it's how I'm able to trade the charts. Okay, so from one day prior, obviously I was posting to my team while we're down, you know, around here, looking for higher, very bullish bias. Even when I'm waking up around 7 a.m. here, I'm telling my team, I'm reminding them once again, very bullish, looking for higher, no shorts yet. You can kind of understand how this is going to gain people a lot of confidence. I'm making it very clear. I want to see higher. I want to see that monthly tapped. Only then will I look for a short trade. Okay. And you can imagine that's going to aid you not taking a short trade too early until we finally get that move up to tap the monthly. And then I say, I've taken this short trade. If you missed that short trade, well, then obviously I've given you another absolute perfect entry off of the NPOC. Okay. So there was a lot of opportunity to take that trade and making it very clear for me the next levels and then you know the, re the rejections that we get off of that again there was no hindsight no delay as soon as we got that i'm posting it in the discord right so i just want to make that very clear and now explain what i'm looking at next so as you probably have been able to tell from this i am in a short trade on bitcoin you have to remember they are from higher prices doesn't mean i would short now <laughs> okay i think some people sign kind of get that misinformed you know they become misinformed if i say i'm in a short they just instantly short now i would not short where i am right now the opportunity to short was one or two days ago right and if you wanted those updates live at the time they are in the discord or via the website right now watching this on youtube you're simply not going to be able to short here it's too late you know this is where i'm taking profit one on that short trade so just remember that please Okay, I'm definitely not saying I would short here. Okay, for now, we have a simple range to trade. Okay, so we can see here, we have this really nice sideways range right now. Okay, we have this clear resistance around the monthly, and we have this clear support coming in at around the top of that CME gap fill. Okay, this was the CME gap. So we've got resistance of monthly support of the CME gap. Okay, um, and then in the midpoint around here, we have this new daily level. So this is a bit of a zone, of course, but we have this next zone of resistance intraday of around this daily mid of this channel. OK, and so for right now, what we could be looking at next is, well, trade this range until it breaks. We have the opportunity of longs at the low, shorts at the high. If we break down from this, we can look well, for a, for a large drop, to be honest, in my opinion. But what we had to be aware of is if we get something like this, where we swing for a pan or fell auction this low back into the range. That would then be a bullish scenario, which could bring us, of course, all the way up to this next level zone of around twenty four dollars to $25,000, being this NPOC weekly. Okay, so for me, it's a step-to-step, level-to-level -to -level environment right now. We've got a lovely sideways channel. Within this, we've obviously formed a lower high, but off of the NPOC. So at the moment, very well-respected resistance, very well-respected support off of the CME gap. Okay, and from within here, we can remain patient. Okay, let's wait to see the next hand that the market's going to show. You have to remember this, and this is also a tip, right? You are in control of your destiny. You are in control of your future within trading. And one thing that's very beneficial sometimes is patience. It's saying, hey, I'm the dealer. I am the casino. Yeah, we, you know, we are the guys with the high win rates. 
okay? And sometimes you're just gonna wait for the market or those other players to show their hands. You're in control, you know what to do. And if you can get that slight advantage by they remain patient, see the other cards of the other players, then take your move and take advantage. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm reading the market, but I wanna see more cards placed. Okay, if you, you were using this metaphor, right? I wanna see the market show its hand to me. I wanna see that next bit of data. And I'm remaining patient for that before I take my next move. Okay, so I either need to wait for lower or I need to wait for higher. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna say I'm extremely bearish. Okay, I'm not extremely bearish. <laughs> okay, that, that would be you reading into something that I've not said. Okay, I, I'm in a short position. I'm happy. Though, if we do rise and I get stopped out of that short, okay, it's the worst that's going to happen now is I get stopped out of that short. I've already hit a take profit one. So if I do get stopped out of that short, it still has ended in a profitable trade. Though, if we move down lower, I'll continue to generate some profits on this short and I'll look for a long entry at a pullback. Okay, I still think there's upside potential in this market. Okay, all I'm doing is trading the charts, trading the highest probabilities and trading plans that I have been prepared for, you know, hours and days in advance. You know, it wasn't luck that we shorted this NPOC together. That was a level that was given to my team hours before it was hit, okay? It was something we were aware of and we were really knowing about what to do. And then it just becomes perfect. When you see this, ladies and gentlemen, side by side, the daily NPOC that was hit on Bitcoin, well, simultaneously, on the right-hand side here, the daily level was being hit, okay? This is pinpoint, okay? You can see the, the cursor itself, this kind of, um, I forget the word, crosshair. You can see it's at the exact same candle, exact same point, okay? The NPOC, 23, 23, getting tapped there. At the exact same time, that daily is tapped. And that for me was what we call perfection in trading. It's, we already knew this was a level of resistance on Bitcoin. We already knew this was a level of resistance on the stock market. And then when they both hit that resistance at the same time, wow, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call confluence. That's what we call trading perfection. And that's where we, eyes light up, eyes light up. Doesn't matter if I'm the biggest bull in the world. I'm expecting $100,000. I'm expecting new all-time highs to come. If I see that, I'm taking that short trade. Why? Because that is what we call confluence. That is what we call a good trading setup. It's regardless of if I think we're going higher, that doesn't matter. I see a trade in front of my eyes, I'm gonna take it. I'm not gonna be scared, I'm not gonna hesitate. I'm gonna say, this was something I was ready for. This is something I've got a plan for. I've now seen the alert go off. I've seen the rejection, I'm taking that short trade. I can be the biggest bull in the world. Let me just, I can be the biggest bull in the world, but if I see that trade entry given to me, I am gonna take it. Every single time, ladies and gentlemen, every single time. Why? Because I trade the charts. And that's how I make money. <laughs> so I make money consistently on this market. Um, so yeah, that was, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have to run. Uh, but yeah, that was my walkthrough of the charts, uh, my analysis, the next levels, the current range that we are trading, and the breakout levels for when this range does break. Of course, um, I will stress it once again, if you want updates live in the time before anybody else, before having to wait you know, a few days here, I'm not doing YouTube videos every day like I was, right? But I am active every single day in my Discord. So if you want those updates before everyone else, you can get that via the website chartchampions.com. I'll make you aware of a few things. I do also have a contenders live stream tonight. This is for all the contenders and all the champions. Myself and the other coaches, we're gonna be on stream taking your questions and answering them, okay? And um, if you want live trading, you can obviously get back. The last live trading stream is from yesterday. So it's like a three hour long uh, live trading stream, two hour 45. So if you want that information, if you wanna see that back and learn from the real time thought processes, real time entry, real time stop loss, real time take profit explanations, you can get that over on the website, right? Where you've got also all the courses, you know, we've got the new Atis, uh, modules. We've got the new advanced strategies, 
new swing failure pattern 2.0 you know a lot of key information a lot of you know we've, we've really worked hard at the start of this 2023 to make this the best platform in the world period when it comes to trading so we're very proud of what we've achieved thus far of course only bigger things to come uh so if you want to get in on that steam train if you want to get ready for that journey to the moon with us and make you know some astounding astounding trades alongside us then you know what to do get that over at chartchampions.com hope my aim of this video is to transfer some of the knowledge insights that i have in this market how i was foreseeing some of these levels how i then went about trading them and what are my next levels to come so i hope that has been completed i hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed and you know where to catch me if you want more over on chartchampions.com boom cheers everybody thank you and i'll catch you in the next video cheers and goodbye and then, of course, with the legal disclaimer here, no financial advice at the end of the day. It's very important you understand this paper chemos and uh, all that good stuff when it comes to legal. <laughs> so cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.